Ilang nakuha sa ngayon. May minions din na paparating mula sa mid lane. This is a 5v5 situation. Hindi na sila mag-aantay na dumating pa yung Lord at mukhang itutuloy na nga ang sayawan. Andito si James oh. Dumo front. Pero sabi ng Bren, disiplina muna tayo. Yun ang kalamangan pag isang Beatrix. Kahit wala kayong Lord, harapan nyo lang ng onte. Pwedeng pwede kang tumawar. Pwedeng pwede kang normal hit ng Renner. With the sniper. And now, Bren Esports distinct advantage para sa kanila. Lalong-lalo na nag-scale na si Few. Ngayon, halos luck item na siya. Kukuha siya na kanyang defensive item sa huli para hindi siya ganun ka problema doon sa talo ni Yeli Hayes. Kasi nangyayari, kapag nagkapalitan, yung demonic force na yung problema para sa kanya. Pag tumalun din kasi yung isang Pogue, yung isang uh, Valentina, Valentina, ang sakit din nung, uh, sa, nung first kill niya. Oo. Kapag nakalapit siya. Humihit tapos eh. Tapos dash, exactly. Pwede niyang i-combo eh. Exactly. Yung, yung dash. Oo. Yung shadow dash. Pwede niyang i-combo with, with the ulti. Pero yun ba yung tamang skill para kopyahin mo? Pero What yeah, eh, kasi may Benedict na lang, eh. Oo, kailangan na kailangan Actually, mo. Actually, yun lang yung, yung okay. Kasi parang hindi maganda na kunin yung Electro Final Blow, uh -huh. for example. Oh, oh. Wala siyang damage. Pati na rin yung, yung talon ni uh, Masha. The uh, Battle Cry, the War Cry. So, kung titignan natin yung draft ng Bren, somehow, okay, na-counter nila yung... yung uh, yung Valentina pick na hindi sila kumuha ng mga heroes na yeah. ganun kaganda yung ultimate. Yes. So, yun nga eh. Gusto lang nila yung mga first skill, second skill type. Oo. Oh. Pero magre-reset ang game natin. Nakakahinga pa ang NXPE. Hindi pa rin tapos. Meron pa rin silang pangkuha dun sa may backlights. They still have their damage. Basta makapag-free hit lang talaga itong si Donut. Na kay Donut ang bola eh. Literal oh, eh. Literal, literal. Literal, literal eh. Bola. Sa Bren Esports, ang daming may hawak ng bola kasi si Few masakit na rin talaga yung damage. Cecilion na ito eh. Yes, 17 ena. minutes, Cecilion. Hinaharapan niya si H2. This is a Cecilion. <laughs> And now, libre ng Lord. Hindi. Oh, The confidence of Bren Esports na kunin nila yung Lord kahit wala si Kyle TZ doon. Si H2 ko nakasili pero alam ng oh, Bren na hindi nila pa papayagan na lumapit oh. itong si H2. Minsan kasi yung dance... Maririnig mo tumutunog yung Lord kasi inaatake pero hindi mo talaga isipin lalo na pag wala doon yung taga Retri. Yes. And ang ginawa lang dito ni Few, tinauhan lang niya, minantuman niya si H2. Si H2, minantuman niya. At alam niya mananalo siya sa pokes kasi ang sakit talaga ng damage ng isang uh, Cecilion. 18 minutes in, this is the Cecilion timer na hinihintay. And minimension natin kanina yung pagiging veteran ni Few na dati siyang carry na nag-transition into a mage. Yung killer instinct ay nandito pa rin. Yung buhat factor yung nandun. Yung buhat factor ay nandun pa din. Those are the claws. Napatap plano ng tapusin ng Bren Esports. Mapasok sila Napag sa base. Department. Andito na yung mga pokes. Pero the demonic force is easy mula na ng Pandora. Ito na nga ba yung warning shot? Itutuloy rin sa mga heads mula Alright, kay Few. Oh. Kaso nga lang andito rin yung mga si dakdak mula sa kabila. Oh. H2O goes down. Si Ren J mapapatumbalan din. Bren Esports muling nanunumbalik ang lakas. Nagdidiwang ang beehive. Mukhang tumalas muli ang tusok blade. Ipinasa. Ng house tusok. Nahasa ng maayos. Nahasa ng maayos at ipinasa. Ang tagal dinanap ng Bren Esports ang tagahawak. Ang tagapagmana. Ang tagapagmana. At mahanap nila. Nakita nila ngayon. That, that was definitely NXP's game to win. Yes. Six K, five K gold lead with one team fight. Na ang tagal, ang tagal nung nangyaring team fight. Do na pantoy. Nagis lang ng contest. Nagis lang ng contest si. One thing na masasabi natin sa Bren Esports is ginamit nila yung classic na tis pogi technique. Iklir nyo lang yung minions kaya yung patagalin yung laban. And that's exactly what they did in the last Lord fight. Cecilion, Benedetta, yung yung Beatrix nun, 0-5. Pero ang taas ng impact niya doon sa defense dahil ginamit niya yung rocket launcher, yung, yung granada, pati yung kanyang ni Virus Passion para lang magdepensa. <laughs> Nag-Bennett na siya kasi alam niya lugi siyang, lugi siyang normalan eh. Uh -huh. Yung kalaban niya si Donut. Pero yung zone, two times kasi na zone ang NXPE doon sa final Lord take. Laging, laging napipilitang umatras nga talaga si Donut, Donut. eh. Dahil doon sa Demonic Force. So, yung naging sagot nila dito sa Bruno Peck na yun would be the Phobius talaga. Right. Tapos, andyan pa si Ogwe na humahabol lagi. So, combo nung dakdak, yung kalmot. Yeah. Eventually, yun yung naging problema kasi 
yung next play Evos, naging effective sila ban ng early to mid game dahil nga doon sa pagnakaw nila ng resources, yung damage din ni Donut. Pero na, nasagot eh, ng Brave Esports ban ng huli. Pero actually commendable yung next play Evos dito sa game Super na to. Super commendable. Bagong, bagong uh, uh, form din, bagong Oo. timpla. Pero ang ganda nung ipinakita nila. Woo. Kailangan nilang mahanap yung tamang rhythm. But now, Bren Esports, nanunumbalik na nga ang lakas. And nakikita, all eyes. Maaaring nakatingin na dito sa Bren Esports kasi out of nowhere, bigla silang umuusbong. Wow, 2-0 para sa Bren Esports. E Last time nanalo sila, nakuha sila ng 2 points, if I'm not mistaken. And ngayon, total 5. Yep. 5 ang kanila nakuha. Tama, no? Na 2-1. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, na 2-1. Na Napahusay na, napakagandang week. Kung baga, weekend para sa Bren Esports. Para e sa Beehive, yes. Para sa Beehive. Amazing place, indeed. Ipasa na natin kay Mara Kino para sa player interview. Mara. Casters, here with me, our winner, Bren Esports. Give him a round of applause. See you once again. You've shown yung iyong leadership na talagang pinag-usapan namin kanina sa panel. Now, let's talk about how you were able to take control of this game to sweep your opponent. Kasi may mga times na you guys parang siso, then you have to make a comeback. So, how did you take control of today? Um, yung sa game to sobrang lugi talaga namin sa early kasi parang apat yung scaling ay tatlo yung scaling namin eh yung Masha yung Pobius ako tapos yung ano pala yung Beatrix din so apat kami kasi so, ang iniisip lang namin yung damage dealer lang nila is yung Bruno kaya kailan lang namin i-shot doon yung Bruno tapos ma-free hit na kami ni Beatrix kahapon pinag-usapan natin yung pagiging veterano mo tapos may minention ka kahapon na actually ikaw yung natututo sa ating mga younger players If you could give an example or talagang specify natin, what would a veteran like you learn from our younger ones? Ah, uh, marami din talaga ako natutunan sa kanila na ano, lalo na sa in-game kasi nga mas mas open sila sa pag-experiments nung nasa amateur pa sila kung ano ano yung tinatry nila dito lalo pag sa MPL kana ay lamang mag-stick sa kung ano lang yung meta. Eh. So ang dami rin talaga namin natutunan nung pumasok sila. That's very nice. Speaking of the younger ones, ito, etong question to para kay Coach Ducky. Coach Ducky, naalala namin na nung pag-alis ni Carl, may sinabi ka na meron kang long-term plan para sa Brian Esports. Now, we can't help but mapansin itong si Kyle TZ na palaging nag mvp talagang na-praise yung, yung Lancelot niya kahapon, yung galawan niya talagang pinag-uusapan sa community. Ito ba yung long-term plan mo to make a new prodigy? Uh, actually, uh, it's more of uh, team-centered, so uh, we restructured our training program so that long-term our players will be able will be able to uh, like play high level as well as sell themselves in a manner that it's humble, humble in a way, I think, and as well as I, I think marketability is also part of it, but you know, uh, being polite and humble is one of our goals. Yeah, that's yeah. very nice, and actually, that's something that we actually see. Pero how do you feel about Kalina binanggit ng ating mga shoutcasters na may tagapagmana na ng tusok? Uh, I'm happy na he's developing really fast, really well. He's adapting really fast uh, here in the MPL. May nagiging nang tinapay. <laughs> mamaya, yung tinapa ay Spanish bread. Ah, yeah. Mamaya, mamaya. Okay, sige. Yan, may Spanish bread ka. Lapit naman ako dun mamaya. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, I'm really happy with the development of the kid. I think he's gonna go a long way. As well as the other players who exudes uh, confidence in how they play. I'm really happy with it. And I want to give props to uh, Next Play as well. They played really well, particularly in Game 1 and Game 2. They played really well. Thank you so much. Coach Ducky, you're always so diplomatic. Thank you. Now, how about we break it down for you and see what our analyst says. Midnight, take it away. It was really a wonderful game for both sides. Unfortunately, only one team gets to win that game. Welcome back to the analyst time. My name is Midnight. And let's break down how Brent Esports managed to pull off a comeback against NXPE. Now, we'll be looking at the post-game stats first to see what are the critical items that both teams bought 
well, to change the outcome of this game. Now, first off, next to the Evos, of course, you're gonna expect a lot of damage coming out from both the Valentina and the Bruno with their item built up. Naturally, this lineup would just dominate the early game, but Friend Esports, they have a lot of ways of dealing with the minion waves of NXPE to prolong the game to a point where they can find a winnable moment and they did just that. Friend Esports, they could defend for days. They have the Vedetta to do that. Cal DZ did a fantastic job of surviving the onslaught of NXPE during the early game. He didn't even die. Zero deaths on the Vedetta and this is a tank jungle for Bren Esports. And mind you, for the majority of the game, H2 was just taking all resources away from Bren Esports, but he managed to always pull ahead with the gold. Although the XP is gonna be advantageous to H2, Kyle TZ is always up in terms of the gold department. And he was able to buy the necessary items for him to be able to sustain against NXPE and allow Bren Esports the late game window that they were looking for. Now, looking at the graph right here, you're gonna see that NXP had full control of the first 14 minutes of the game, but this was actually crucial. The, the moment that NXPE uh, felt that they have the momentum, they went in for the push. But unfortunately for them, the game itself is what hindered them from winning the game. Remember that there is there, there are da damage reductions on a tower, and of course, the passives on the final towers uh, on the base of Brand Esports repelled NXPE's push. That's up until the 12 minute mark. After the 12 minute mark, you are wanting to contest the Lord, which Brand first won. That is the window where Brand Esports was able to capitalize and pummel the lead that NXPE has to the ground. This first Lord that Brand Esports won around. 14 minutes is really, really crucial. Again, for the entire 12 minutes, it's NXP's game, but they're gonna be hindered by the damage reductions coming off from the towers. So this was the only window for Bren Esports to work with. If they did not get this Lord, NXP would have taken that game. But as few have said in the interview, only Bruno was the main problem here for Bren Esports to deal with. And this was a critical moment for Bren Esports as we're, ga uh, 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 we're gonna show you later on on the times that, that we have. But again, this is where Bren Esports managed to pull away the lead that NXPE had. The, on the only thing that they have to do is take away the Bruno of NXPE. Now we're gonna see how Bren Esports did just that in this replay, sort of a replay, Brenny Sports, again, look at this. The Lord is being contested by these two teams, but Ogwen is positioned to take control of the Bruno. And once Brenny Sports saw the potential of gauge, uh, going on to Donut, they took it. In Donut, he did not have any chance of escaping the clutches of these three heroes, Kyle Tizi and the Benedetta. You also have Owen and the Masha. And the, the uh, full views of Pandora just allowed Brand Esports to completely take over this Lord. This is what broke the game here for NXPE. Unfortunately for James, the shift of the attention towards Super Marco on the, the, uh, the Beatrix allowed Bren Esports to do this. If he held if he held down the Masha so that, uh, you know, the Bruno could just escape, it would have been very, very different for NXPE. But he let go of the control onto the Masha. And after that, Bren Esports pulled away with a kill onto the Bruno. That is what made the, the game different here for Bren Esports, which is why NXPE suffered the fate of losing this game over to the original Kings. Now we have here our MVP of the game. It is gonna be none other than Pandora himself, the critical guy for Brand Esports. The dunk contest has been won by the Phobius, even though the Valentina hurts more than the Phobius himself. But the main factor here for Brand Esports is the ability to engage into a fight while distracting NXPE. And also that crucial jump on to the Bruno allowed Brand Esports to catch up with the pickup of the Ice Queen one on the Phobius. This will allow Brand Esports, this allowed Brand Esports to fight head on because they know that NXP once the Phobius has started jumping, they will just run away. And the mobility, the, the amount of mobility that they have added to the fact that the Ice Queen one provides so much slows from the side of Brand Esports really crippled the way NXP fights their team fight. And Brand Esports, again, it was just so critical that they got that Lord after the first Lord take of NXPE. 13 minutes onwards, it was all Bren Esports' this game. Really good stuff here from Pandora. This Fovius pick has been really phenomenal 
for Bren Esports. Again, NXP, they have majority of the game, they have the control up uh, up, at their, uh, up at their hands. But Bren Esports, they found a small mistake, a small error on the gameplay of NXP, which we will see again in the upcoming uh, highlights of this game. NXP, it's just that one mistake that James made on passing over the Masha, which changed the outcome of the late game. We're going to witness here the onslaught of NXPE. Targeting is really key.